Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you some of my drawing process. This time I'm using graphite for this drawing. Notice how I keep the drawing lines very soft. Look at the way I'm holding the pencil. This allows me to use my full arm to create looser strokes. When you hold your pencil tight you are only using your wrist to draw lines and that limits your movement. Also notice how I use short strokes for every angle of the drawing. So I'm trying to focus on movement on this time. I'm not too worried about measurements. Now I have an idea of the body placement. I changed my pencil hole to add some more loose details. Because the pose is only 40 minutes long, I don't bother with measurements. So this, in this exercise, I only worry about the movement and flow. Now how I use the right side of the body to place features on the left side, following anatomy and rhythms at the same time. Now I have a base drawing, I fade it to serve me as a guy. I go over with the same pencil adding a structure to the face. The same technique will be used for the body. Now, with a darker pencil, I go over the structure accentuating the main features, in this case the eyes. I also start adding shadows to introduce form to the drawing.
Notice how I adjust some of the features as I go over my original drawing. When working with a live model, you have to realize that the model's pose will change as the pose goes along. The body relaxes and the muscles will tense with time. You have to be prepared to make some changes. That is why I do not commit to any lines until it's the pose is well in advance. I also correct some of the mistakes. In this case, I realized that the mouth is too low and in a wrong angle. I also know I will have time for another pass with a different pencil, so I accentuate some of the face features to separate light and shadow. Now I have moved to my darker pencil. All I have to do is go over the drawing, separating the lights and the shadows. Look at the way I hold my pencil now, very tight, so I can apply more pressure to my pencil marks when I need it. Why do I think it's important to draw from life? One of the reasons will be learn to see. See things in 3D environments will help you understand not only perspective, but most importantly, depth. Meaning, how the light travels when it hits a surface. Working from photographs is good for practice, but copying an already flat image won't help you understand depth in the same way as experiencing it firsthand. Another reason is time. When you know you only have a limited amount of time, you have to be more careful about how you approach your drawing. It will help you focus on what is important when drawing the figure and focus less on details. Most importantly, at least for me, is the fact that you mix with other like-minded people. Over the years, on different activities such as sport, I learned that if you want to improve, you will need to mix with people that are better than you in the subject. It does make sense if you think about it. How can you improve if you don't have a clear target? You will pick up techniques from someone more experienced than you, as that person probably already passed through all the struggles that you are having and can give you a solution for your specific problem. Being an artist can be a very lonely career and having people that inspire you and share your same passion can only be a positive thing, don't you think?
I hope you enjoyed this video and as usual if you have any questions just leave it in the comments below and let me know what would you like to learn from me until next time goodbye